I hope you all are good. So I'm back with another fitness video to help you guys be more awesome. So the big question, how many times you should train each muscle group? Well, this is a very debatable question because Arnold Schwarzenegger used to train his each muscle group twice a week and modern bodybuilder Jay Cutler trains his each muscle group once a week. So before I answer you the question directly, I would like to feed you guys with a little bit of science. So supplementation, training, dieting, all these actions are just for one reaction and that is muscle growth. We all want our muscles to grow. The process of muscle growth is called hypertrophy. So how does hypertrophy take place? Simple eh? Dumbbell market. Yeah. Yeah. Well unfortunately that's totally wrong. You don't grow muscles in the gym. You do only one thing in the gym and that is muscle damage. And when you rest, rest optimally, you allow your muscles to recover they get bigger, stronger and better and that's how you grow some muscles. It is simple. Hai. Well that was just a starter. Let me show you the main course. So the first step in muscle growth or hypertrophy is a high tension stimulus. That's the reason why many athletes ask you to focus on the negatives because that's the part when maximum muscle damage takes place. So let's go to the gym and damage some of our muscles. So now we have some damaged muscle fibers. So this damage or high tension stimulus that you have done in the gym activates certain genes in the muscle fibers which tells the nucleus to produce mRNA. Now this mRNA is simply a blueprint for protein. The mRNA instruct, instructs the ribosomes to start grabbing amino acid out of the amino acid pool. So now the ribosome start to uh, grab out amino acid out of the intracellular amino acid pool. Now these amino acids are integrated into existing muscle fibers and that's how you grow some muscles so your muscles your damaged muscles now gets bigger better and stronger so now you know how muscle growth takes place well this process of protein synthesis lasts only for a very short period. In fact, in our research it was found that it starts to degrade after 24 hours of the training. So this process of protein synthesis starts to degrade. So it's a very bad idea to train your each muscle once a week and then wait an entire week to train it again. But what about recovery? Because that's what a majority of people are concerned while training their each muscle group once a week. Let me tell you that it's proven scientifically that your each muscle group including big muscles like legs and back can recover within a period of 48 hours. So this is what happens when you're training your each muscle group once a week. You train it, you damage the muscle fibers and after 48 hours they recover and they are like Bro, train me, I'm all good. What's wrong with you? Why don't you train me? What the hell are you waiting for? Well, if you are in India, 70% chances are that you are doing the single body part split that is Monday chest, Tuesday back and the entire bullshit for sure. If you are in Delhi, I'm 95% sure that you are doing the same. So why do many bodybuilders and gym trainers support this split? Because they are on steroids and when you are on steroids, your protein synthesis rate is high. In fact, you can build muscles even without training. But for a natural guy, you need to stimulate your each muscle group as soon as it recovers so that you can kickstart the protein synthesis process and keep growing. So in my opinion, training each muscle once a week is totally a waste of time and I have done enough of that. So I don't want you guys to waste your time. The best splits are push pull legs which is my favorite and upper body lower body split which my coach Shreyas supports a lot and the full body workout splits. 
So you should train your each muscle group two or three times a week as soon as they recover. The only downside which you may feel while trying out these splits for the first time is that you won't be able to add a lot of volume for your each body part. And that is what I was worried for as well. But it has a flip side. For example, when I used to train my chest on Mondays, I used to do around five or six exercise for my chest and towards the end of my training, I used to become dead. I was not able to lift as heavy as I could during the start of my training. But now when I train my uh, chest twice with shoulders and triceps on my push days, I only do two or three exercises, but I am able to lift heavy every time. Uh, I bench press with 70 to 100 kgs on barbell. I lift uh, 35 kg dumbbells on incline press and decline bench, which is the heaviest in my dumbbell. So my overall volume remains the same, my frequency is doubled and the best part is that I'm able to lift heavy both the times. So guys, I hope this video helps you start training your muscles at least twice a week. Do subscribe to my channel, do like and share this video. When this video gets a thousand views, I promise to share my personal training program that I have made, Pain Pump Glory, with all of you. Till then, keep lifting and be fab. <laughs>